It is time for our American Snapshot, uh, where we are highlighting an act of kindness in the face of tragedy. We head to Texas on January 6th. The house that Larry Hickson's family called home for more than 30 years was left in ashes. As firefighters responded, one of them noticed Larry's flagpole and American flag were burned. Volunteer firefighter Colby McFadden had something in common with Mr. Hickson. Both men are veterans and take special pride in the nation's flag. Without hesitation, Colby decided to bring Larry a new one. And both men are joining me right now live. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. I know, Larry, you got a call from your daughter uh, that your house was on fire, of course. That had to be the worst call you've ever received. Yeah, it was uh, It was one of the worst I'd ever gotten. Uh, uh, I was at a dental appointment when I got the call, and it didn't take me long. I was about 30 minutes away. It didn't take me long to get home to find that my house was pretty much engulfed. And it was, again, uh, a total loss. I, I, Colby, you were there as a volunteer firefighter. When did you spot the flag? Uh, that was after the main fire was put out. We were conducting overhaul operations. And when I came around to the backyard, it was actually the first thing I noticed. The flagpole was bent due to all the high heat. And Old Glory was laying there on the ground. And so you decided to do something about it. Yeah, I'm known in town for retiring old flags, and anytime anybody brings me an old flag uh, as a thank you for them having enough respect to want it to be retired properly, I always have flags with me, and I will give them a new one. So when I seen it there, I went over there and asked Larry if I could retire it properly, and that's when I found out he was a veteran, has as much love for the flag as I do. So it was more than an honor to bring him a little, bring him a flag, and I'm happy that it brought them comfort, some sense of comfort. Yeah, absolutely. Larry, how did you feel with this gesture? Uh, right now, I'd like to just say thank you to Colby because he really touched me. I, I saw him walk through my back gate with that flag, and uh, it's a, it was a good feeling knowing that uh, someone cared as much about the flag as I did. I'm proud of my flag, and Colby took good care of it and, and immediately brought me another one, and it was just uh, very awesome and very warming. I had another a fellow or another brother to reach out to me like that. It was good. That's so precious. Where are you living now? I mean, clearly your house was destroyed. I'm staying with my sister about 15 miles away from my home now. And uh, uh, we're, we're doing all right. It's just uh, a little different. A little different. Is there any um, hope for rebuilding or what, do, what are your future plans for the property? Yeah, I'm, I've already started. My my son and friends and my family has already pitched in the day after, and we're starting to clean up. And we're we're going to give it our best shot. I hope so because this home has got a lot of history. Yeah, thirty years—that's a whole lifetime. A thank you to you yeah. both, and, and thank you both for serving as well. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you, man. I have to ask one more question to you, Colby. I, you retire flags. You're a young man. I, I don't want to guess how old you are. You're a little younger than uh, Larry. Uh, but uh, what would you say uh, to folks watching right now at home in terms of taking pride in the American flag? Uh, just whenever it's torn or looks faded, it's best just to get a new one. And there's plenty of Boy Scout troops, American legions, VFWs that are willing to take in your old flag and make sure that they're disposed of properly. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. Those are good notes for people who didn't know any better. But we appreciate your time, Larry and Colby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.